Hi guys, what's up? It's Lindsay and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I am starting a new vlog because I just received something very exciting in the mail and that is a new rug for my bedroom. I actually don't even have one in there, but I think it's really going to liven up the space. It is pretty plain in there currently, it's all neutral and this rug as you're going to see, is very colorful. Let's hope my measurements were correct because I'm not the best at that when it comes to rugs. This is packed incredibly well. This is exactly what I had in mind for my room. I wanted something super eclectic with a lot of colors that I can pull from for the rest of the decor in my bedroom. And this is just above and beyond what I could have imagined. Here it is for scale. I believe this was like a two by six rug. So a pretty good size shape for my bedroom. And over there is my pile of presents to wrap. So maybe we'll do that a little later but I could not be happier with it. Let's go put this in my bedroom, but I will link the Etsy seller below. He has hundreds of gorgeous carpets and I definitely want to get more. Here is my bedroom before the rug and now we're gonna bring it in and see just how much better it looks. It is so much comfier on my feet getting out of bed. I am very happy with this purchase. I think this has also finally given me enough motivation to hang up this beautiful print above my bed. This is from Livia Falkaroo and it's like two friends drinking matcha. I love it. And I am gonna do that right now because why not? I have so many pillows. It's overwhelming. Let's make sure the bed is centered. That's a good idea. And it's not, okay. I don't know why I just decided to do that, but we did. If you've seen me hang stuff before, I'm not the most technical about these things, but I am gonna use a TikTok trick I saw for hanging stuff up, which I can link in the description box. I feel like it's a little bit small for the space now that I just hung it up, but I don't necessarily want a gallery wall. This is what I was like messing with before I put it up. I just wasn't sure and it does look a little small. Once I have matching lamps, I think it'll help. And I actually just took down my disco ball because I think it was making it look very uneven. I don't know. Let me know what you think. I might just put this in the living room for now. I also have this amazing bookshelf that is from Urban Outfitters. I built it with my friend Nick and I recorded us doing that, but didn't have anything to fill it with. So I never included that in a vlog, but I have this bookshelf. I just don't quite know how to style it. I have some coffee table books, a record player that isn't even plugged in, and then my little box of sunglasses. But if you guys have any advice, I don't really get enough light in my bedroom for there to be plants on here. I've tried it, but they just like were not thriving and I don't want to put any of my plants through that. So, I mean, I could put a fake plant, but I just don't love the vibe that fake plants give. I don't know how I managed to forget that disco balls create disco light, but every time it's been in my bedroom somewhere, it hasn't had direct lighting. So I think it has to live in the living room now. I just need to find a place to put it. Now I'm feeling inspired to hang up the prints for my gallery wall and like rearrange all my furniture, but I'm gonna take a quick pause because I just received a package from Thrive Market and they are the sponsor of today's video. Here is the box of all of the goodies. I love working with them so much. If you haven't heard of Thrive Market before, they are a membership-based marketplace with a mission to make healthy eating and living more accessible. I love shopping on their site 
liked because I can get all of my favorite brands like Go Macro Bars and Simple Mills for so much cheaper than I can at local health food stores because they work directly with these brands. So you are truly getting the best prices possible for the same exact product. I also love that you can sort all of the products on their website by different values and lifestyles because I am gluten-free, but you can also sort it by keto, paleo, vegetarian, anything that suits your lifestyle. All orders over $49 ship free with carbon neutral shipping. Personally, I do a year long membership because it breaks down to about $5 a month and it is so worth it. You save so much every single time you order. And like I said, they have all of my favorite brands that I would be buying elsewhere. So so it's just such a smart investment. It's honestly like a great Christmas gift. I feel like if you got this for someone, they would totally use it. And every single paid Thrive Market membership sponsors a free one for a low income family. If you're interested in joining Thrive Market today, you can get 30% off your first order and a free gift. Just go to thrivemarket.com slash lindsayrem. As usual, it is like 4 p.m. now and the sun is already setting, but I am gonna make dinner a little bit early tonight because I'm going to a concert tonight. And so I kind of wanna eat a little bit early obviously because I need to leave. I'm seeing Adrian Lenker, who is the lead singer of Big Thief, and this is her solo project and solo tour, and I am just so excited. I actually met her one time just in LA at The Butcher's Daughter in Venice, and it just like made my whole year. So I can't wait to actually see her sing and not, <laughs> not just at brunch. Good morning, the concert was truly amazing it was in a church in k-town and just like the ceilings were high the acoustics were fantastic i just knew taking any clips on like my phone would not do it justice but if you haven't listened to adrian lanker you really should her music is so soothing and she was one of my top spotify artists two of her songs were in my top five which really says something you know that's a lot I got an Alfred coffee this morning because I stayed up late and I just honestly felt like I needed it. I've been loving their mochas. They have like a adaptogenic mushroom mocha. Sounds obnoxious, but it's delicious. I really like it. And so I just do that with one shot of espresso and oat milk, hot. It is so good. I love mochas and they're rarely vegan. So highly recommend this one. Normalized drinking chocolate in the daytime. I'm also making a little cream cheese bagel because I stopped by the farmer's market when I was next to Alfred because I have been craving bagels with cream cheese, which is so out of character. My whole life, I never ate cream cheese because I am lactose intolerant. And so I always thought I didn't like it. And then, you know, vegan cream cheese came on the block and I love it. I get the herb and chive cream cheese from Blodka and then my bagels are from Unity Bagels. I have to say that's a pretty good looking gluten-free bagel. I recently had a gluten-free bagel from Pops Bagels in Brentwood. Life-changing. I think I have to bring some home for Christmas when I go to see my family next week because like my mom is gluten-free so she always appreciates when I bring um, you know goodies from LA because there really is just like so much gluten-free and vegan food up here. I just hung up these two prints for the start of a gallery wall. I know I at least want one more print. I don't know how many more I'm gonna do. One tiny one right there is kind of what I have in mind, but I also just like it being kind of minimal, just having two. It's so much better than a plain wall, and now I just need to decide 
what to put on this wall. I did thrift this piece of art from an estate sale. It has like a pink frame. I think it's really cool, but unfortunately it has to be hung up and down and I kind of prefer it horizontally. So if I figure out how to switch the wire on the back, I think that that would look good on this wall. Otherwise I will just find something else. I have been brainstorming about what to do with the wall over my desk for a while, and I think I want to put in Ikea pegboard and just cover it with lots of art as well as like pens. They have like various attachments. So I just measured out what that would look like. It is 30 inches by 22 inches, but the only problem is that I would have to go to Ikea and pick it up in person. They don't offer delivery and um, Ikea is about an hour away and I don't really feel like doing that today, but I might make that journey sometime this week or later tonight if I can get a friend to come with me. But I am now just gonna wrap some Christmas presents because I have had this pile piling up and you guys seem to enjoy watching me wrap a gift in the last vlog. So now we're gonna do quite a few more. If any of you are curious what I bought for my boyfriend this year, I will share that with you, but I just had to say that first in case he happens to be watching this. I got him a pair of Birkenstocks and not just any Birkenstocks. These are the Birkenstock Boston Clogs and I really wanna get a pair myself. I just love the way that they look and Birkenstock makes really high quality shoes. Like it's, you definitely get what you pay for. So I hope he likes these. I'll let you guys know, but that is what I'm gonna wrap next. I was just in the mood to bake tonight. I rarely have the house to myself. My parents are watching the dog this weekend because I went out to that concert, but I really have been craving coffee cake. So I just made some gluten-free coffee cake with a bunch of chai spices. I'll link the recipe I used below and let you know how much spices I add to it because it doesn't include the spices that I added. I just added cardamom nutmeg and like double the amount of cinnamon and I've, I've made it before it's amazing i have like no produce in my fridge right now and i knew if i baked i probably wouldn't feel like making dinner so while i was baking i just ordered some thai takeout and just right on time it arrived so i'm gonna go grab that and then the cake has to bake for like 40 minutes sometimes you order takeout and sometimes you make a beautiful gluten-free coffee cake from scratch and sometimes you do both oh my god guys are you seeing this this is from the restaurant Nori Thai. I ordered pad thai with extra veggies and tofu. I know it's basic, but pad thai quite literally might be my favorite food. And I have tried so many different ones in LA and they rarely disappoint. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you with a new vlog very soon. And don't forget to check out Thrive Market. You can get 30% off your first order and a free gift. Just go to thrivemarket.com slash Bye guys.